Hello friends and welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the best things that I bought on Amazon in 2020, specifically under $20. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like in 2020, the way that I've used Amazon changed so much. I feel like in some ways I started using it more just because we were stuck at home. We really couldn't get out to stores like we used to, but in other ways I started using it a lot less because when I saw the impact that the uh, pandemic had on small businesses, I really made a huge effort to do a lot more local shopping and just shopping from small businesses. So I really feel like the way that I shopped on Amazon has shifted and I tend to buy like more just like basic necessities on Amazon that I would usually get in the store like when I ran an errand. And I've sort of shifted away from buying like a lot of gifts and apparel and that sort of stuff on Amazon. I wonder if anyone else, let me know in the comments below if the way that you use Amazon changed in 2020. But anyways, that's totally beside the point. Let's go ahead and jump in to these products. All right, starting with some cleaning products, the first thing is this, which is a cast iron cleaner. If you, well, it's a cast iron scrubber, like scour, if you will. If you are a cast iron user, we pretty much always cook in cast iron. There's very few things that we pull out like our other pots and pans for. This thing is a total game changer. It's basically just a bunch of links of stainless steel loops and you use it to scrub your cast iron totally clean. It gets off anything that's like baked on there, but it doesn't strip away like any of the oils or any of the flavors that you have on cast iron. And this thing has made it so, so easy. I use it every single day because I cook in my cast iron pretty much every day, but you can use it on all sorts of stuff. I use it on my cooking sheets. If there's like stuff that's ground on there, you can use it on Pyrex, you can use it on Dutch ovens. Honestly, just a really smart little like dish cleaning product. All right, next up is this little lady. And I feel like this product seems really gimmicky, but it actually really does work. And what it is, is it's a microwave steam cleaner. So prior to using this, this is called the Angry Mama microwave cleaner. Prior to using this, I always used the method where I'd put a mixture of water and vinegar in a cup in my microwave, microwave it for three or four minutes to let it steam, and then I would wipe my microwave clean. And that worked pretty well. And this is the same concept that you put water and vinegar inside, but something about the way that the um, water heats and then comes out the slits at the top, it literally creates like a better steam and it loosens certain grimes so much more. It honestly just cleans my microwave so much more effectively. I always pull this out every single time that I clean my microwave. All right, this list is gonna be really random. Like I said, it's a lot of like just weird necessities that you need around the house but are so random. But these set of bar towels I bought on Amazon. I like to use towels for like my daily cleaning through the kitchen and throughout the house to decrease my paper towel usage and like just my paper towel waste in general. Um, so I'm using way less paper towels, but sometimes it's hard to find like just good multi-purpose cleaning towels. And this set of bar towels from Amazon is amazing. It's super durable. They wash really great. They're like the perfect size, if that makes sense, for like everyday cleaning cloths. And you get a big pack of 12 of them for like $13. All right, and the last product is these Clorox pens. It's basically bleach, but it's slightly thickened. I'm not sure how they do it. It's like a, almost like a bleach gel. It's inside of this squeeze pen. And what I do is I keep these in my bathroom because in our bathroom, we have white subway tile with white grout. And we also have hard water in our house. And so trying to keep this white tile and this white grout white has literally been like my arch nemesis since we moved into this house. And I have tried so many different methods and these little pens has made it so much easier. So literally like once a week, when I do my once a week, you know, tub wipe down, my quick, you know, little wipe of the tub, I take out this bleach pen and any spot that's looking dingy or it's starting to stain, I will just um, put some of the bleach gel on it. It also has a flip side that's like a little scrubber side. Let it sit for 10 minutes. I do my normal tub wipe down and this keeps my tub so much cleaner. I literally have not had to barely scrub any of the grout because it's keeping all of that hard water off. It is such a great product and on Amazon you can buy them sort of in bulk, so I buy packs of four. All right, moving on to sort of beauty and accessory. Last year I bought a lot more like apparel and fashion on Amazon and like I said, the way that I shop on Amazon really changed a lot this year. Um, but I do have one sort of fashion related item and that is this pair of sunglasses. I usually do not like to buy sunglasses online. I'm one of those people I like to go into the store and try them on and see how they look on my face. 
Um, but I had seen these being shared and they seemed like they were just flattering on so many different faces and I bought a pair and I love them. Now I own two pairs so that I always have one pair with me. I have one pair in the car. The price on these like varies every day, but they usually are somewhere between like 14 to 17 dollars and like i said i just love them they're super versatile i feel like they go with every outfit a great pair of sunglasses for literally everybody it would be a really good stocking stuffer by the way and then another product in the sort of like beauty fashion bucket if you will is the soap and glory vitamin c face wash this is really random but i bought a travel size one of these like three years ago when my husband and I went on vacation and we both fell in love with this face wash but it's really hard to find the full size bottles in store it's like for some reason you can only find travel sized ones in store so we started buying it on Amazon and it's just like an amazing everyday face wash we keep it in the shower my husband and I have very different wants when it comes to a face wash and yet we both have fallen in love with this one he's one of those people that after he washes his face like he wants it to feel super super clean and I at the same time obviously want my face to feel clean but I hate the feeling of my face feeling like dried out or stripped of natural oils after I've washed my face and this product like meets all of our needs and I found that Amazon is like the one place that I consistently can find it in full size all right, next up is these packages of three screen protectors for your phone. These are the glass screen protectors. So basically it's like, it has like a layer of glass inside of the protector. So if you drop your phone or it gets hit or it gets knocked, this protector gets cracked and not your screen. Um, personally, I find that I go through screen protectors maybe every like three to six months. And even if it doesn't actually get cracked, like the edges get gross. And so I like to swap it out every three to six months. And these packages of screen protectors, they come in like pretty much every size and every variety for cell phones. And they're super affordable for a pack of three. I feel like I used to spend like 40 bucks for one of these. They are also super easy to apply, super effective, and an amazing price point for only three of them. All right, next up is this package of fairy lights. It actually comes in a two pack for under $20. And um, I bought them for a YouTube video that I was working on. And now that I own them, I find so many uses for these little fairy lights. They're battery operated. You get a really good strand. I think it's like 33 feet. I just find a million different ways that you can use these. I've had them strung up in house plants. They come with a remote so you can turn them on and off. I've been using them for Christmas decoration. You can use them from home decor, like hang them on a mirror or just like hang them around the house. Personally, I use them all the time as sort of like props and in Instagram photos if I'm doing a flat lay or I'll use them for YouTube videos. I'll sort of put them in the background of videos to create like a bokeh effect or add just some extra lighting. And they're just like a really great Amazon find that I probably use at least once a week. Okay, a few random items and then I'm gonna do mom items at the end. I wanted to do my mom items at the very end because I know not all my followers are moms and they might not care about the mom stuff. So you wanna show your random item that's about you? This next item is a dog item and it is, wow, you're just so excited. Okay, so this next product is a nail grinder for dogs, although I probably would work for cats too, I'm not really sure. I got this when we got Olive when she was a puppy because I know from being a dog owner that sometimes nail trimming for dogs can be tricky. And what this is, is essentially it just like turns on and it just grinds the dog's nails. Like a, it's like a nail filer basically. And Olive does not make a huge stink about using this. It's a lot more gentle. It's a lot less scary than using the nail clippers. Not to mention one of the big reasons I bought it is I find that this gives a much more smooth cut to your nail because you're sort of filing it down. Where you use the nail clippers, it like creates a really jagged, it makes their nails sort of jagged for a day or two until it like naturally files away. Um, under $20, this is like an awesome pet product. All right, next up is my pom-pom makers. I shared these in a recent DIY video. And um, these are like the best little craft item I've bought in the longest time. They allow you to make your own DIY pom-poms so, so easy. But basically all you have to do is you wrap your yarn onto either edge of these and then you tie it down the center, you cut around the seam of the pom-pom maker and you've created your own little pom-poms. So I'm obsessed with this and it is so addictive to make pom-poms and I can only imagine how many fun DIYs I'm going to continue to do with these. But awesome product. All right, this next one is sort of ironic, but I got myself the This Is Fine mug because I feel like the This Is, this is Fine meme is like kind of my spirit animal, but I bought this for myself at the beginning of March, like right before the pandemic hit. And I feel like it was foreshadowing to like what the rest of my year was gonna be. And last but not least in the random category is these um, wet erase markers. So these are to use on dry erase boards, 
but they don't wipe away dry. You have to use something wet to wipe them away. So if you're somebody like me, we have a family calendar that's a whiteboard that we keep in our kitchen that we use for like everything that's going on this month, as well as all of our meal planning, like what we're eating this week. And so I like using these as opposed to a dry erase marker because you don't always want everything to be dry erase. You don't want it to like wipe away certain things you don't want to wipe away really, really easily. So you can use these to put like the days of the weekend and to put important events in and then other stuff that you might change, you can use your regular dry erase marker. All right, and finally we will move on to motherhood content. And the first one is the snack cup, which I feel like is a snack cup that like a lot of people have, but for some reason, I don't know why, took so long to get one of these cups for my child um so i feel like i should just throw it in there in case you were ever like do i need it do i you do you need it it is amazing for just putting in snacks because their little hand can go in and take the snacks out but if they carry it around with them the snacks don't end up all over the floor and spilt everywhere if you're a toddler mom you know what i mean and what i really like about this it comes with a top so you can stick a top right on there if you need to take it like on the go or throw it in your bag and it even like folds down kind of flat like this. So I'm not very effective at showing you how it works. There you go. So it doesn't take up as much space when you're storing it. And then the bottom is sort of suctiony. I mean, it's not like an amazing suction, but it does stick kind of well to flat surfaces. And then it's got these two little handles. It's like the perfect toddler size to like hold on to. Just in general, it's got everything you would need out of a snack cup. And I really, really like that about it. So, all right, next up, I get a lot of questions about childproofing. And I would say the one like childproof product that I always buy and I recommend to people is these childproof straps. And that is because they are just super versatile in the ways that you can use them. So I've used it obviously to childproof cabinet doors closed, like where we keep our cleaning supplies. I've used it on the entertainment center in our living room to prevent my son from being able to open the little slide doors to get into like where the wires and where the outlets are. But because these things are just so versatile, you can use them in so many different ways to like lock things closed. I just like these things because they're versatile. There's lots of ways that you can use them for childproofing around the house. All right, next up is this set of play scarves. I bought these for my son. I think you get like the entire package of them for like $8 or something. My child plays with these so much, so often, in so many different ways. They're just one of those open-ended toys that can get used so many different ways. It's one of those products, it costs like less than $10 for all these, and we play with them all of the time. You can also buy slightly nicer ones, like these are just sort of sheer tool. They have really nice play silks, also under $20. I think I'm gonna be getting one of those to put in my son's stocking, so I'll link those up down below too, if you kinda want like an even nicer one, but literally even just these little cheapy tool ones work really, really great, and they have endless uses. Also sort of on the toy category, if you will, is crayon rocks. They look like this. They're basically just crayons, but they're in like little rock shapes like this. And my son loves using these. I think that they're just like more ideal for little toddler hands to be using. They're chubbier and they're a little bit easier for him to hold on to as opposed to a traditional crayon. Also really nice as opposed to regular crayons, especially with toddlers. They don't break in half like regular crayons do. You don't have to worry about ripping the paper off. So they're just like a lot more toddler friendly. I'm really sorry, it keeps getting like bright and then not bright because the sun is coming and going behind the clouds over there. Okay, two pajama options on Amazon. First is the Amazon Essentials uh, footed pajamas. When my son was like 12 to 18 months, he pretty much always wore footed pajamas. Before this, my son was pretty much always wearing the Burt's Bees onesies, which are almost double the price. But I actually was getting kind of annoyed because a lot of my Burt's Bees uh, pajamas were not wearing really well. They were getting holes, they weren't washing well, they weren't holding up. And these ones, like I said, almost half the price, and I found that the durability of them was a lot better. So if you're looking for a nice, affordable, footy pajama option, these are really great. But right around 19 months, my son decided he did not want to wear footy pajamas anymore, and so I actually switched over to these guys, and I like these even more if you are looking for non-footed pajamas, you're looking for like a two set. They typically are about $17 at the set, but if you keep an eye on them, I find that like every like eight weeks or so they go on sale, these toddler pajamas are so soft and so amazing. They only come in solid colors. So you don't have to worry about like cartoons and patterns, which sometimes is hard to weed through with, I don't know what it is about toddler pajamas, that literally every store is like, toddler pajamas can only have cartoons, which is fine. I mean, some cartoon pajamas is fine, but like, 
why can't I just have red pajamas? Do you know what I mean? But what I really love about them is they are so, so soft. I've shared them actually with you guys on Instagram a few times and I've gotten DMs from other moms who are like, oh my God, these are my favorite toddler pajamas. So don't just take my word for it. Other people love these. All right, very final product, not necessarily a kid product, but it's a mom related product and that is this book, which is real food for pregnancy. But I feel like with my first pregnancy, I knew a lot about like what I shouldn't eat when I was pregnant, but there wasn't like a lot of education about what you should eat, if that makes sense, like what's the best foods to eat. And I feel like this book just broke it down in a really easy way. Some of it like felt a little bit preachy, but I feel like if you just read it simply for like the information and the science, like I love how much science there is, an explanation there is behind why she mentions some of the foods that she mentions. You can take away a lot of information from this book and it's just made for me choosing what I wanna eat through pregnancy so, so, so much easier. So highly recommend this if you are pregnant, if you're planning to get pregnant, you're planning to be pregnant at some point in the future, just like bookmark this or like add it to your wish list or whatever because it was a really, really good book. All right guys, but that does it. That was the best things that I bought on Amazon, all under $20, just amazing products that you can get that totally won't break the bank. Maybe even some of these were good stuffing, stuffing stockers, stocking stuffer ideas for you. I'm going to end this video now because I'm completely out of breath because that's just 32 weeks pregnant for you guys. I can't, I don't know if you've noticed this entire video, I've like had to stop multiple times and be like, Oh my God, just taking up all the lung capacity. You know what I mean? I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.